Hey guys, it's Emil from Mindful Movement Coaching. So I'm going over how to use the rip trainer, and we're going to go over the pull series of exercises that we do. So if you remember in the tutorial, we want to create alignment from the anchor point to the center of the rip trainer to the midline of our body. That way we're assured we're loading right and left relatively evenly. So when we do the pull motion, to start with the upper body, we want to get into an athletic stance. So soft knees, tuck the hip, very important. Get those shoulder blades engaged and keep them engaged. In other words, keep them retracted even during the release here. There's a tendency for them to want to protract. Keep the shoulder blades engaged. Now, we're going to add some lower body movement. Now, the difference between doing a row motion or pull motion with the rip trainer with our lower body versus what we do when we face away is we change the sequence up so we're not overloading the lower back. So watch closely. When we face away from the anchor point, you would combine the movement simultaneously here. When we are facing the anchor point, if we're going to do a squat row, we're going to keep our shoulder blades retracted in that athletic stance. We're going to squat first, keep the core engaged, and then row. I don't want to squat and row simultaneously. That's going to increase the force through the lower back. If you're a high level performance athlete or you're looking for that increased challenge, that would be appropriate for you. But for health and wellness or rehabilitative purposes, we want to avoid that for the time being. So the first stepping motion that we might do is a step back, retro or reverse uh, weight displacement, and then go ahead and do a row. Step back and do a row. Step back and do a row. So a reverse step or backward step. The next one would be a reverse lunge. Step back a little further, bring that down, and then row. Now I stay on the same leg there, but you can get away and start alternating as well. And then when we do the squat, same thing. Squat, stand up and do your row. If you have any questions, you can contact me at Emil at mindmovecoach.com. Good luck.